Alright guys, we're back with our 1500 subscriber special. We're going to do our second segment and this will be Jeopardy for the Wii. So here we go. We'll do one more game and then we're done for the evening. Because I have to get up and go to work in the morning. And then I have to work on my message for tomorrow that I'm going to be doing. Incidentally, today is Ash Wednesday. Here we go. Welcome to Jeopardy, everyone. Let's start the game. One player. New playing. Do it easily. So far, $76,500. We'll see how much I can win on this game. This is Jeopardy! Please welcome our contestants. Here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert, and thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Here comes the Jeopardy round. The first round of play today has these categories for you. South Korea. Hmm. Manimal. Manimal, okay. It's all good. It's all good. Pop culture. Pop culture, good. Literature. Literature and... And yo, Jimmy. Yo, Jimmy. Player one, you start us off. Manimo for you children. You a Rudyard Kipling story. One of these animals saves a family from a deadly cobra. It's player one. What is the mongoose? Use the remote or press the corresponding... <laughs> Manimo player for one, 400. A rhesus or a macaque? Yes, player With one. With a monkey. Manimal 600. Of the three animals on Ontario, Canada's coat of arms, the one that fits the category. I'm going to try Let's it. Let's hear it, player one. What is a moose? Ooh, that's correct. Manimal Andrew. The one. scarlet species of this tropical flyer is known for its brilliant plumage and strong voice. Watch out for that. Okay, player two. <laughs> oh, it is the McCall. The McCall, okay. Choose again, player two. We're sure you'll just love Ondatra Zabethicus, this rodent. Yes, player one. What is the muskrat? Good for you. You again, player one. All right, let's do pop culture too. Here's Kelly. She'll show you. Glasses with colored filters in each eye let you watch films in 3D. At the 2010 Grammys, the audience donned them. For a montage from this performer's This Is It. Player one. With the late Michael Jackson. <laughs> pop culture to 400. To player one. In I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry, Kevin James weds this Hanukkah song guy at Niagara Falls. Let's hear it, I haven't seen the movie in a long while. Who is Adam Sandler? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Select again. 600. Well, Michael C. Hall of Six Feet Under went to Showtime to play this homicidal title character. Huh. Staying away from that one. Here's what we were looking for. Dexter Morgan. Right, Dexter, okay. Player one. And in 1964, he topped the pop music charts with the title song from Hello Dolly.
Here's the response we were looking for. Louis Armstrong. Oh, good. I did good that in birth in a thousand. You pick again. A two-time Oscar-winning actress. One of her first jobs was as the Coppertone suntan lotion girl at age three in 1965. Okay, player two. That's it. Dirty Foster, yep. You again, player two. With more than 10 million people, it's the largest city in South Korea. It's player one. With so. Yeah, correct. You get to pick again. Uh, one. yo, Jimmy, 200. In the comics. Jimmy Olsen was this hero's cub reporter pal. Player three? You are correct. Choose again. Player three. A book by former President Jimmy Carter compared Israel's treatment of Palestinians to this policy of white South Africa. It's player one. What is apartheid? That's correct. Player one. From 1957 to 1971, Jimmy Hoffa was the president of this labor union. Let's hear it, player three. Oh, sorry. That's incorrect. Anyone else want to hazard a guess on this? I'll try it. Yes, player one. With the Teamsters. Woo! Right. We return to you, player one. The Jimmy was a popular SUV from this American automaker. Okay, player two. Aww. No, that's not right. Any other takers? Player one? I'm gonna guess where's General Motors? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Player one. Thousand. He's Jerry Lee Lewis's famous evangelist cousin. Yes, player one. Who is Jimmy Swagger? Yep. Please pick again, player uh, one. It's all good to Also us. known as a cathode, it's the car battery terminal with a plus sign. Let's hear it, player one. What is positive? Yeah. Yeah. Player one, that one. it can mean far better than average or not yet settled like an unpaid debt. Okay, player one. What is outstanding? Hey, you're right. Select again. 600. The bird Ardia Herodias isn't just any blue heron. It's this blue heron. With the great blue heron. I think it's great. It's player one. Yeah, great. Yeah. That is correct. Player one. And As an adjective, it means very impressive. As a noun, it's a lavish production. New no, I I'll try it. Okay, player one. With spectacular. Yes. You again, Thousand. player one. Marvin Hagler was marvelous Marvin. Tom Seaver was nicknamed Tom This. It's player one. With terrific. Right. Player one, back to you. Literature for, for 200. The ban on this D.H. Lawrence book was lifted in 1959 in the United States. Yes, player one. What is Lady Chatterley's lover? Yeah, that is correct. Select again. Literature for one. Federico Garcia Lorca wrote a famous one of these for the death of a bullfighter. Let's hear it, player one. What is a lame <laughs> Player 
one. 600. Whitman's When Lilacs Last in the Dooryard Bloomed was an elegy to him. I know when to hold them. The correct response is Abraham Lincoln. Hmm. Player one. And Polonius tells this character, this above all, to thine own self be true. We're talking about Laertes. Laertes. Let's finish that category. Please pick again. Woo it's the Daily Double. You are in the lead right now. So, what's your way? I'm not comfortable with this category. Let's be 400. And the Daily Double clue. This woman was the subject of Petrarch's Canzonieri. Who is Laura? Congratulations, you're still in first, player one. Choose again. Calpria Fuani. The 12th century book, Samguk Saki, recounts the time when this religion came to Korea from India. Player one. What is Hinduism? Uh, oh well. Anyone else? May have been Buddhism. Let's hear it. Player two. Ah you got it. Player two, back to you. At the 2008 Summer Olympics, South Korea's Cha Dong Min won the heavyweight gold medal in this national sport. It's player one. What is, uh... Taekwondo. Yeah. Yep. We return to you. Hey, this everyone. medicinal herb of the genus Panax is native to Korea. Okay, player three. <sighs> Any other takers? Player one? With ginseng. Let's have a look at the thousand dollar clue. MacArthur thought the battle for this port would end the Korean War. Didn't work out that way. Yes, player two. Good for you. I'm way in the lead with ten thousand air dollars. Remember, if I win the game, I had twenty-five thousand dollars to on top of my total. Start the double jeopardy categories with this one. Key to the city. Key to the city. Fill in the book title. Fill in the book title. Flora. Flora. The A's. The A's, okay. I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon, Anne. And country cookbooks. Okay. All right, if you're ready, it's double jeopardy time. Check out the key of Karakoy in this city, known as Constantinople during the Byzantine Empire. I'm gonna try. Okay, player one. What is Istanbul? Ah! Get out of that category. You get to Let's pick go again, to fill in the book one. title. 1749, Tom Blank by Henry Fielding. Player one. What is Tom Swift? Could be Tom Jones. Sorry. Ah! Maybe Tom Jones. Anyone else? Here's what we wanted. Jones. Select again. Fill in the book title. 1895. Eight. Blank the Obscure by Thomas Hardy. Okay. Here's the correct response. Jude. Gain out that category. You get to pick again. Phase four. The liquid under pressure released through a nozzle as a spray or foam. 
It's player one. What is an aerosol? That's what it is. The A is A. A recess or nook for something like a bookcase. Let's hear it, player one. What is... With alcohol. <laughs> Choose again. Player well, to one. suspend a legal proceeding. Yes, player one. What is adjourned? <laughs> we return to Keep you, player one. Side on your wager. Well, I have a big lead right now. Uh, let's gamble a little bit. Let's do 6,800. Answer this. From the Greek for slope, it's to adjust to a new set of conditions. With a tone? Accommodate. We were looking for to acclimate. Okay, we'll build it back up. Player one, back two thousand. Kelly. In seismic data, the maximum displacement of a seismic wave during one oscillation, here twenty-three millimeters, is referred to by this term. Okay, player one. What is amplitude? All right. Please pick again. All right, one. let's do I beg your pardon for Gerald Ford. Ford issued 382 pardons, but the one issued to this man in 1974 is said to have cost Ford the 1976 election. It's player one. Who is uh, Nixon? Woo -hoo! You again, player one. In 1994, he was pardoned for leading a coup versus the president of Venezuela. By 1999, he was the president. The correct response is Hugo Chavez. Mm. Player one. Well, uh, In 2001, she was pardoned for a 1974 armed bank robbery and for using a firearm during a felony. Here's the correct response. Patty Hearst. Player one. You, the Wall Street Journal wanted an immediate pardon for him after his perjury conviction in the Valerie Plame case. Here's the correct response. Scooter Libby. You get to pick again, player one. Said, Kaz, this wow. Secretary of Defense was pardoned for his role in Iran-Contra. We're talking about Casper Weinberger. Choose again, player one. All right, let's do fill in the book title twice. 1925, An American Blank by Theodore Dreiser. Let's hear it, player one. With American Tail? Oh, no. Nope. Ah. Sorry. Anyone else I'm want to hazard up a guess now. on this? Here's what we were looking for. Tragedy. Player one, back so to you. 1922. The Beautiful and Blank by F. Scott Fitzgerald. Here is what we wanted. Damned. Select again. 2000. 1860. The Mill on the Blank by George Eliot. Yes, player two. 
That's right. Way to go. Player two, back to you. In the wild in Mexico, this Christmas plant, Euphorbia pulcherima, may grow to a height of 15 feet. Player one? With a poncetta. You got it. Please pick again. The ponderosa is one of the most widely distributed American species of this conifer. Here's what we were looking for. The pine. We return to you. Athusa sinapium is known as poison or fools this herb. Don't put it on your potatoes. Yes, player one. Oh boy, what is sage? Ooh. Sorry, that's wrong. Anyone oh, else this, we, come up this game is about to slip away from me. The correct response is parsley. Player one. Okay, here's Kelly to start us off. The moss seen here, also called vegetable horsehair, is best known by this national name. I'm not touching that one. We're talking about Spanish moss. You again, player Two one. Down. A variety of this state tree of Mississippi is the cucumber tree which gets its name from the shape of its fruits. Here is what we wanted. The magnolia. Mm -mm -mm. Player one, you pick again, please. Country cookbooks for it. Fit for a King is full of his favorite recipes, including the chicken served at his wedding to Priscilla. Player one, who is Elvis Presley? Yeah! We return yeah. to you. The Little House Cookbook features frontier foods from this woman's classic stories. Okay, player one. Who is Laura Ingalls Wilder? Yeah! That's it. Please pick again. This daughter of Maybelle Carter honored her mom by writing Mother Maybelle's Cookbook. It's player two. Right. <laughs> player two, back to you for our next selection. You'll find Goober's banana pudding in this Mayberry Auntie's book of delightful desserts. Let's hear it, player one. Who is uh, Aunt B? <laughs> right you are. Player one. Two thousand. There's a recipe for butcher holler possum in your cooking it country by this country music queen. Yes, player three. You are correct. You're out of the hole. Choose again, player three. Government building on Lambton Key in this New Zealand capital is one of the world's largest wooden buildings. It's player one. What is, uh... Auckland? Oh, nope. Oh. I think it's Wellington. Shoot. Anyone else? My geography is not there. Here's the response we were looking for. Wellington. Player three, pick again. A large stone key built by the French in 1780 is still used in Port-au-Prince, its capital. Okay, player one. With Haiti. Hey, right. hey, hey. You again, it's player one. one. We wonder whether a steamroller was used to form the many keys of this German city chartered in 1607. Player one? With Bond. 
Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh. Hey, I want to hazard a guess on this. Let's hear it, player two. And the $2,000 clue? Yeah! The second day the game. double. You're in second place, so what is your wager going to be? Please enter your wager. All right, here's your clue. Circular Key is a hub of transportation and tourism in this city. Here's the correct response. Sydney. So 4850 is what she got. All three of you will participate in Final Jeopardy right after this. We're back. The category for I don't Final think Jeopardy she's gonna wait all. is geometry. I should know something about this subject. I'm gonna go for it. Each direction on the plus control pad represents a different response. Press a direction to select an answer. Our final Jeopardy clue today is, it's an ellipse with an eccentricity of zero. I'm gonna guess what is a parabola. What did you say? And the correct response. <laughs> Was that obvious? It's a circle. Score? Shoot. Well, hopefully she missed it. I overthunk that one. What did you put as your response? How much <laughs> do you add to your total with that correct response? Yeah, I'm going to lose this game. Did you come up with the correct response? Nope. And that will Ooh. lose you. So, I end up with $6,800. <laughs> this makes you our new champion. So, player two. I came in so second place. So, we'll have $15,000 for that total. $21,800 is what I have. So segment two is complete. So that takes my winnings up to $98,300. And that is it with my 1,500 subscriber special for right now. This is Riding 1279 signing off. Stay be safe, be careful. Take care, everybody, and stay blessed. Goodbye, y'all. Alright, it's time for bedtime.